Hey what's up guys welcome to find gap youtube channel and in today's video we are going to learn how to create responsive footer using html and css and the good news is we will create footer of two types so the first design will look like this and you can see the hover effect on these list items and we will create a form inside our footer and here in the bottom right section we will create social icons like this and if i will press f12 so you can see that this footer will look like this on mobile devices it means that this is a complete responsive footer not complete but you can make changes according to your own requirement and next we will create another footer of this design so friends you can see that it is a different design from our previous footer so in this video you will learn how you can create this type of footer so friends video is going to be more important and before start i want to show you that how our this footer will look like on mobile devices so this footer will look like this on mobile devices so video is going to be more important and before start please i request you to subscribe to our youtube channel because we will bring such type of amazing web designing tutorials in the future inshallah let's start so friends here you can see that i have created a simple html structure inside my index.html file here is my style.css file where you will able to see the css code and in the right section you will able to see the output without any delay first of all inside our body element create a footer element and then type here div.container div.row div.footer column not type the complete word just type here footer call inside this type here h4 i'm going to type here find gap next we have to create an unordered list here create a list item add an a element inside our list item in the first a element type here tutorials just copy this one and paste here three more times and here type programming development and technology that's it next we have to copy this footer column comment here second column paste the code next again type here third column paste your code here and next type here fourth column and paste your code here your comments helps you to manage your html code so friends in the right side you can see the current output next open the style.css and type here star padding zero margin zero and box sizing border box friends next we have to use two google fonts to use the google font inside your website just open the google and search here google fonts click on the first link Link and click on this three bars click on fonts and search here for pop-ins click on the first font and here you can see this is the preview in hindi language but just scroll up scroll up scroll up and uh, here you can see that regular 400 just click on this regular 400 plus icon and your font will be added to your list and second font is ubuntu so to search this font just again click on this fonts and search here for ubuntu here is the font that we want to use in our app scroll up if you want to see the preview in english language from here you just have to select your continent and the language in my case this is english so here you can see so friends you can see the preview here and next just scroll up and here you can see medium 500 just click on this icon or you can use regular 400 this one i have already added this so i will remove this medium 500 and from here click on import just copy this line open your style.css and in the first line paste this link here now i can use these both fonts in my website from this website just copy this font family property and paste this inside your star element next from index.html we have to copy this footer element and paste here inside the css and next copy this container class and paste here with a dot give background color black next copy this row class and paste here and type here display flex justify content space between and padding 40 pixel and 100 pixel so i have zoom out my screen next just copy this footer call class and paste here with a dot and copy this ul element and paste here without any dot and type here list style none next just copy this footer class and paste here type here h4 element we are going to give the style to our this h4 element inside this you have to type color white margin bottom 
225 pixel font size 22 pixel position relative and we have to give a font family from google font this one ubuntu so just copy this font family and paste here inside this h4 curly brackets so you can see its font next we want a red line under our this h4 element to create a red line just copy these two footer column class and h4 element and type here column column before contents single colon width 70 pixel height 2 pixel position absolute background color e91 e6 Three. So you can see a line but we want this line to below our this text next type here bottom minus 10 pixel next friends we have to type some genuine text inside our these list items and we have to create a form here in the fourth column so just open index.html and in the second column i will type here form about contact us team and our history and its title would be properties just cut this properties and paste here in the third column we will type here services and here i'm going to type just random services here that's it here we will use three list items and in the fourth part we will create an html form here so inside this our h4 heading i will type here newsletter remove this unordered list and type here form create an input here inside your form give a placeholder like your name and give a class like input name create an other input its type would be email give a placeholder like enter company email and give a class input email and at last we have to create an input with type submit its value would be submit and give a class to this input like input submit so that's it we have done with our html part friends next we have to open the style.css and i have make my code screen a full screen so you can see the output and code in a more effective way next we have to type here dot footer column space ul space li and a element just correct this footer spelling it means that we are going to give style to our these a elements and this is our hierarchy footer column class inside this we have an unordered list element inside this we have list item and inside this we have an a element but before this we have to copy these words and paste here and type here padding 10 pixel and 0 so you can see a padding between your list items next we have to give style to our a elements just type here color white text decoration none font size 16 pixel opacity 0.5 sec 0.7 second not second but 0.7 and transition would be 0.5 second so friends you can see the current output next we have to copy these classes and elements and paste here type here colon hover because we want a hover if effect to our a element so just type here opacity one so friends you can see the current output when i am hovering on each list item its color is changing to white next we have to give style to these input elements of our form so from index.html just copy this footer column class and paste here with a dot and then copy this input element it means that the style that we will write inside these curly brackets will goes to these three input elements so just type here border none width 250 pixel height 45 pixel display block and padding left 20 pixel and margin 14 pixel and zero so friends you can see the current output next we have to design this input type submit button so just copy this footer column class and next we have to copy this class which is input submit paste here with a dot and type here padding 0 pixel and 20 pixel background color type this code border none and their color would be white so friends you can see it's looking good and better than before next we have to display social icons here in the right side and in the left side we will display display the word copyright to do this first of all we have to write our html code so open index.html and outside to our this row class div we have to create another row and type here div.call and create another div with class social icons inside this call we have to create a paragraph and type here this code and hash one six nine semicolon this is the html code to display the icon copyright to our website 
नेक्स्ट टाइप है 2022 फाइन गैप ऑल राइट्स रिजर्व्ड एंड इनसाइड दिस वी हैव टू डिस्प्ले द सोशल आइकॉन्स आई एम गोइंग टू यूज फॉन्ट ऑसम आइकॉन्स टू ऐड फॉन्ट ऑसम आइकॉन्स टू योर वेबसाइट जस्ट ओपन गूगल एंड सर्च हेयर फॉन्ट ऑसम सी डी एन क्लिक ऑन द फर्स्ट लिंक क्लिक ऑन दिस कॉपी लिंक टैग एंड पेस दिस इन साइड योर हेड सेक्शन नेक्स्ट टाइप हेयर ए देन क्रिएट एन आई एलिमेंट हेयर एंड गिव अ क्लास टू दिस आई एलिमेंट एफ ए ब्रांड एफ ए फेसबुक कॉपी this paste this four time and change this facebook to instagram twitter and youtube so friends you can see these icons here because the color of our text is black and our background is also black that's why you are not seeing this so let's just give a style to our this footer open style.css and type here dot call p color white you can see this text here and here we want to display a horizontal line to do this just open index.html and here before this row class div type here hr element so you can see this class next friend type here dot row hr element and type here opacity 0.7 you can see the output next we have to give style to our these icons so first just copy this row class and paste here inside your style.css and then copy this social icons class and paste here with a dot and then type here i element type here display inline block their color would be white font size 20 pixel and give margin 0 and 15 pixel and transition 0.5 second so friends you can see the current output and next we have to add a hover effect to our icons that's pretty simple just copy these classes and elements and paste them here and type colon hover and change their color to this pink color so friends you can see the current output and next we have to make our this footer responsive to make this footer responsive we will use media queries so type here at the rate of media maximum width 600 pixel and inside this first of all we will type here footer dot row flex direction column it means that we are changing our this display flex property we are not changing because the default direction of display flex system is in a horizontal but we want to display our columns vertically and we can achieve this by flex direction direction column property and next we have to type here padding 20 pixel and 30 pixel next type here footer dot footer column ul element and type here margin left 20 pixel and margin bottom 20 pixel next type here footer call input and turn the width of our input elements to 100% now i will press f12 from my browser and so friends you can see our footer will look like this on mobile devices and it will look like this to desktop devices next friends we have to make some changes in our code to make our second design so friends first of all we have to remove this newsletter section to do this just delete this last footer column class you can see our current output next we have to remove these headings to do this just remove this h4 this services title and this fine gap title now our footer will look like this next we have to remove the opacity from our this text that's pretty simple just open the style.css and search here for opacity and remove this opacity 0.7 next again search for opacity and we have to remove our opacity from our hr element so just do this now our footer will look like this next we have to add an icon here to do this just create another footer column class and type here image give a class to this image like logo and inside the source i will type logo.png you can see a logo and next we have to type a p element with class slogan and inside this i will write a dummy slogan like code not code but think twice code once next we have to copy this class and open our style.css and here we have to paste the footer column class and paste another logo class here and give it 70 pixel so you can see now our logo will look like this next similarly copy these two classes and paste them here and type here dot slogan and inside this just type here color white so our slogan will look like this next we have to work on our these social icons that's also simple we have to give another class like row icons copy this class and paste here with a dot but before this type dot row basically this means that we are going to give style to our this div element so we have to type here flex direction column our icons will look like this next 
text from index.html cut this col class div and paste this here and just remove this div from here now it will look like this next inside the style.css here we have to type justify content center and align item center now our these icons will look like this next we have to make some changes inside this style we have to add some more line of code this means that we are going to give style to our these i elements row social icons and i row social icons and i so here i will type border one pixel solid white icons will look like this next we have to add a padding here like 10 pixel and change this margin from 15 pixel to 10 pixel that's it now our icons will look like this and next we have to give border radius 50 percent our icons will look like this and next inside a slogan class we have to give a margin to 20 pixel we are facing problems to give margin so i will remove the margin property from here also from here so i have simply copied this social icon class and paste this class here and before this i have give dot row class to complete the hierarchy and then i have add one more property margin bottom 20 pixel it will create a margin bottom from our icons so friends now our social icons will look like this everyone have their own choices so you can create your own choice footer i hope this video will help you to improve your web designing knowledge and please share this video with your those friends who want to learn web designing and subscribe to our youtube channel to get notification of our latest videos and finally thanks for watching but before and i will show you how our this footer will look on mobile devices so it will look like this thanks for watching